Did you know that in Redshift for Cinema 4D there's an easy way to use bump and reflection independently from each other? In this example scene we have a classic Opel Omega B, modeled by 3D artist Freddy Foss, follow him here on YouTube via the link below. I created the structures of the headlight glass using a bump map. Strictly speaking, I would have had to model the simulated unevenness of the glass and that on the back side of the glass, but to keep things simple I used a bump map instead, quite classically bumping the positive side of the polygon on it. However, the problem arises that the reflection of the glass is of course also influenced by the bump map. And there is no parameter in the reflection area to avoid this. So bumpy surface, sleek reflection. How do we do that? Well, we simply turn off the reflection. Instead, we activate the coat area of the standard material node. This is simply a second set of reflection with all available reflection parameters. And code must be provided with its own bump map. So if you do not define your own bump map here, you will have a bumpy surface and a sleek reflection, meaning code, being unaffected by it. This basically simulates bump structures that take place on the inside of the headlight glass. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and don't miss the next episode of Did You Know Redshift for Cinema 4D every lovely Wednesday on this channel.